New information this noon in a very disturbing case. The paramedic accused of sexually assaulting a woman in the back of an ambulance in a courtroom today. News 8's Aaron Cox live outside of the courthouse in Meriden with the very latest. Aaron? Good afternoon, Keith. You know, usually a first-time court appearance takes just a few minutes. Uh, not today, because the defense already making its case, attacking the credibility of the woman who says she was sexually assaulted and questioning whether this paramedic really made a so-called confession. The paramedic, Mark Powell, was swarmed by media, reporters, and photographers as he left the courthouse this morning. His lawyer was saying plenty, though, that the victim was intoxicated in this case, and he claims she can't even identify the paramedic. The 22-year-old telling police she fell on Christmas morning. She woke up in the back of an ambulance to realize she was being sexually assaulted. Now, Hamden police say this paramedic admitted touching the female patient, but the lawyer is asking, was the so-called confession recorded, and was there even a signed, written so-called confession? We don't believe he said them, and we're prepared to challenge that. I mean, don't you think this story deserves the coverage it's getting? Now, Mark Powell is still being held on $25,000 bond, which means he walked out of the courthouse this morning. You saw there were a lot of reporters chasing this guy. I asked the question three times, is he still working? Is he still employed? We could not get an answer to that question this morning. We're live this afternoon outside the Meriden Superior Court. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.